Welcome back, everybody. Well, many of you know that I am not only passionate about history, but also family history, what we call genealogy, the study of family history. And every so often, those two get to intersect into some really interesting conversations. And I want to have one of those today. Uh, I've always been fascinated by the idea of the brother against brother aspect of civil wars, uh, the American Civil War is the one I know the most about, but there have been many civil wars throughout history. Uh, and, and it's literally true. I mean, just in my own family, my great-great-great-grandfather had several brothers who fought for the North and several brothers who fought for the South, and one brother who fought for both the North and the South. That was a thing that actually happened a lot in places like Kentucky, where my family's from. Uh, that's a story we'll get into another day. But uh, not a lot of people realize that the brother versus brother connection goes all the way to the highest levels uh, of government, including the White House. Abraham Lincoln was born in Kentucky. His wife, Mary Todd Lincoln, was from Lexington, Kentucky. And though she was the United States First Lady, most of her family fought for the South, including several of her brothers who died fighting for the Confederacy. So I thought it would be interesting just to take a look at her family and talk about some of those family members who did indeed fight for the South. And we're going to use a pretty unique tool to do that, one that I think you should check out if you ever are interested in family history, uh, because it's become a great resource. It's called Find a Grave, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and take a look at Mary Todd Lincoln on Find a Grave. So this is findagrave.com, and you, it's free. Anybody can go there and use this uh, information. It's not complete, and there are a lot of issues with it. I'm not suggesting otherwise, but uh, in this case, it's a really handy resource for us finding the information that I want to talk about. Uh, so this is the listing for Mary Todd Lincoln, and people can suggest edits. It's similar to Wikipedia, but not everybody can just go in and change it. Uh, it has to be approved by the person who originally set it up. Uh, so... Uh, Mary Todd Lincoln here, we can actually see, uh, it, this was primarily set up as a way to be able to see where people are buried, see pictures of their grave site, if one exists, things like that. But it's actually turned into kind of a, a place where you can get biographical information too. Uh, and you can connect people by relationships. And so we can see Mary Todd Lincoln's uh, mother and father here. And interesting uh, that much like Abraham Lincoln's mother who died young, Mary Todd Lincoln's mother died, looks like at about the age of 30, 31 years old. But what I want to look at are her siblings. Uh, now, her, her father had uh, at least two wives, and so he had children from each marriage. Uh, and Mary Todd Lincoln is from the first marriage. She was born in 1818. Uh, so these are her full siblings. And we'll take a look at them first. Uh, Elizabeth, and I'm just going to right-click and open new tab so we can look at these easily because uh, I want to look at her brothers-in-law as well. So uh, her brother Levi, uh, Robert Smith Todd died young, so he obviously was not in the Civil War. A um, bunch of sisters here, Robert Parker Todd also died young, and then George Rogers Clark Todd. So these are her full siblings, same parents. Uh, Elizabeth, her older sister. Uh, died in 1888. She's buried in the same cemetery as Abraham and Mary Todd Lincoln, Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield. There's some photos of her right there. Uh, and she had a number of children. And I'm kind of curious about the children. It uh, looks like her husband was born in 1809, so I highly doubt he fought in the Civil War. But I am curious about uh, her sons, Albert and Charles. And so Albert, let's see here. Um, he was actually a grandson of uh, the ter ter territorial uh, governor of Illinois. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I don't see any information about him having served in the Civil War, though. Uh, but there's a, a great biographical information of him there. Charles Edwards, uh, this would be Mary Todd Lincoln's nephew. Uh, so here's actually an uh, obituary for him, and it doesn't appear that he had any Civil War service either. All right, so now we go to Mary Todd Lincoln's brother, Levi. This is the brother born right before her. Now, he died in 1864, so I'm curious to see whether or not that was in the Civil War. Uh, and it does not say right away. It says he uh, died at the Broadway Hotel in Lexington, and he's buried in an unmarked grave there in Lexington. Now, I don't know whether or not that means he actually had any Civil War service, but I'm going to take a look real quick. 
So from what I could find, Levi actually seems to have remained fairly loyal uh, or at least connected to the Lincoln family. So um, didn't see any Civil War service for him. So Francis is uh, Mary Todd Lincoln's older sister. Well, yeah, older sister, I guess. Uh, when was Mary born? 1818. So yeah. Um, let's take a look at her husband's name was William Wallace. And I believe that he is the namesake of Mary Todd Lincoln and Abraham Lincoln's son, Willie who was named William Wallace Lincoln, I think after his uncle. Uh, now he had, looks like they had a brother or a son named William Wallace, who was a private in company, uh, company I of the 7th Illinois Infantry. So Mary Todd Lincoln's nephew uh, served in the Union Army as a private. Uh, and he also is buried in Oak Ridge Cemetery, which is the cemetery where the Lincoln, uh, Lincoln family is buried. So pretty interesting. Uh, let's take a look at Anne Maria Todd Smith, who is uh, Mary Todd Lincoln's younger sister. And uh, they actually had a son named Lincoln Smith. So I have a feeling they probably stayed loyal as well. Her husband's name was Clark Moulton Smith. And it uh, looks like he also, uh, their family, it looks like a lot of um, Mary Todd Lincoln's family ended up living in Springfield and is buried in Oak Ridge Cemetery. Uh, so nothing there about Clark Smith having served. Uh, now here's Dr. George Rogers Clark Todd. This is Mary Todd Lincoln's youngest bro full brother. Uh, and he was a Confederate surgeon. Uh, an unreconstructed rebel, it says. Uh, in fact, it says right there on his uh, tombstone, uh, Dr. George Rogers Clark Todd of Kentucky, surgeon, CSA. Uh, so there's at least one uh, rebel in her family. He out uh, lived his sister, lived until 1900, died in South Carolina. Uh, so where we're going to find most of the Confederates is going to be among her younger half siblings. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, we'll start with the first couple here. Margaret Todd Kellogg is her younger half sister. Uh, and her husband is Charles Henry Kellogg, uh, the secret treason of Abraham Lincoln's brother-in-law. Uh, there's an article about that here, and it looks like uh, so I couldn't find any direct information about him being in the Confederate Army. But um, interesting, he's buried in Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincinnati, which is a huge cemetery. It's where uh, Joe Hooker, among others, is buried. Uh, it's a beautiful cemetery. And let me just show you real quick, because this is one of the cool things about uh, Find a Grave as well, is that you can go to a, a cemetery like Spring Grove, which has 238,000 graves uh, that are archived in Find a Grave. You can look up any one of them. Uh, and then you can look at the famous memorials there, uh, the ones that are considered by Find a Grave to be famous. And there are 194 of them. Uh, in Spring Grove. And this is actually the tool that I use very often when I'm going to a place if I want to find out who might be in a cemetery. Uh, and you know, a lot of these you may never have heard of, but every so often you'll see a name that really jumps out and you'll be like, oh yeah, I know who that is. Um, Sidney Burbank was a brigade commander at Gettysburg. Um, Samuel P. Or Sam and P. Chase, who was in Lincoln's cabinet and served on the um, Supreme Court. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to see, uh, I'm just going to skip skip ahead down here and let you see uh, at least one name that I know is in this particular cemetery. And that is Joseph Hooker right there. So uh, you can just see how that works. And it's a, it's a cool resource. So, all right, let's take a look at Samuel Briggs Todd, who is the younger half brother of Mary Todd Lincoln. Uh, and he dies on the 5th of April in 1862. Uh, it says he was killed at the Battle of Shiloh, which... Shiloh hadn't started yet on April 5th, but um, he served in the uh, F Company of the Crescent Regiment uh, of the CSA. Uh, so it says here he died of wounds received in action on the 7th of April. So I think somebody made a mistake there. Uh, but Mary Todd Lincoln's brother killed at the Battle of Shiloh fighting for the Confederacy. Uh, and not the last one that you're going to see. So David Humphreys Todd uh, is the next one. Captain David Humphreys Todd. There is the brother-in-law of Abraham Lincoln in his Confederate uniform. Uh, here is his Confederate grave. He was in the 21st Louisiana Infantry, Company A. Uh, he was a captain. So he died not long after the war in 1871. Uh, Mar Martha Todd White then is Mary Todd Lincoln's half-sister. 
Uh, and let's take a look at her husband, uh, Clement Billingsley White. I don't really see any information about him. I uh, wouldn't be surprised to find out he was in the Confederate Army. Uh, he's buried in Selma, Alabama. Uh, let's go on to, uh, I know the connection here, uh, Emily Todd Helm, because her husband was Benjamin Harden Helm, who was a high-ranking Confederate killed at the Battle of Chickamauga. Uh, I believe he was in command of a brigade at that time. Um, there he is, Brigadier General, Kentucky Orphan Brigade, one of the more famous brigades uh, on the Confederate side in the West. Uh, so he is Mary Todd Lincoln's brother-in-law. Alexander Humphreys Todd, Captain Alec Todd, uh, another Confederate, another brother of Mary Todd Lincoln, served in the 1st Kentucky Cavalry, killed in action at the Battle of Baton Rouge. So Mary Todd Lincoln loses a brother at Shiloh in the spring of 62, loses another brother in August of 1862, loses a brother-in-law in the fall of 1863 uh, during the Civil War. And then we've got these last two uh, siblings of Mary Todd Lincoln, uh, Elodie Breck Todd. Uh, and her husband is Nathaniel Henry Rhodes Dawson. Uh, he's on the southern side, so I would expect him to have been uh, in the Confederate Army. But let's take he's got a really long biography here. So he was a lieutenant colonel in the 13th Alabama Regiment, was uh, mentioned in, in order general orders for gallantry at the Battle of Seven Pines, where he was wounded and had his horse shot out from under him and killed. Uh, so uh, a lieutenant colonel, brother-in-law of Mary Todd Lincoln, and then her youngest half-sister, Catherine Bodley Todd Herr. Uh, and her husband was William Wallace Herr, and he was a first lieutenant in the 1st Regiment of Kentucky Cavalry. So you can see the extent uh, to which Mary Todd Lincoln's family was entrenched in the Confederate Army. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, is there anybody in particular you'd like me to take a look at their family connections? Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, any other ones you know of that have kind of those brother versus brother thing where one uh, sibling fought on one side or a sibling, and a sibling fought on another. Uh, and if you want to see a little bit more in-depth look at this idea of connections between people uh, in the Civil War, I have a video that I'd love for you to check out that I made a long time ago before I even had this channel. And I'll throw the link up on the screen there for you. And it shows some of the famous connections between the founding fathers of the United States and their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren uh, who were prominent in the American Civil War. So check that out if you would. And let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.